Yeah, if, if you guys aren't on our YouTube, go check it out. Uh, there's a link right there. We do tons, tons of content on there, so. Start the timer. Spike field hazard, go. And I, I believe TJ's just not going to bother flipping the lands every time. And as long as your opponent is okay with that and understands what is being represented, it's you're allowed to do that. So you only heard about us because of Tandy. Well, hell yeah, that's why we did it. That's why we that's why we brought in the big guns. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Turn to ritual. Is this just metamorphose recross? Uh, I think it is. Metamorphose. Yep, recross the pass. So, if you've never seen this deck, you said you don't know how it works, Wyatt, right? Nope. All right. So the deck plays no lands at all. Okay. So keep that in mind while you read this card. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a land card. Put that card into play and put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. Uh, so just stop right there. Do you know what that means happens? He just flips his deck up. He just flips his deck over and then it says any order. So now he just gets to put his cards in his deck in any order. Okay. What does it mean by clash with an opponent? And then clash is a old mechanic where you reveal your top card. And then if you win and if, uh, if your card has higher CMC, it wins. Okay. So, and so if you win the clash, you get to put recross back in your hand. Okay. So that part, it's, Nice, because he does get to arrange his deck, so he puts, like, turn timber symbiosis on top of his deck, which is a 7-drop. Um, so he normally wins, but... And then he gets... You get to decide with that top card what you do with it. Yeah. And so he moves it to the bottom, and then normally, you put a reforge the soul on top of your deck. So you will discard your hand, and then draw 7 cards. Um, and if it's on... You can miracle it off the top of your deck. So if you draw, if it's your first draw for the turn, you can cast it for its miracle cost. So then you put a whole bunch of things that, um, you know, rituals into like an iron crag feet into a char belcher, and you just win the game. And char belcher is an artifact that's four mana and then three to activate, and it deals. You reveal cards off the top of your deck until you get to a land and you deal that much damage to your opponent. So you'll just deal like 50 damage. YouTube content is just good to the stream for anyone uh, wondering. Thank prediction you. gambling. Oh yeah, we didn't we didn't do a prediction. Um uh, it's kinda late to do one now. We'll just do it for the next game. Yeah, we can do it. Like game by game, if you guys don't mind. A little late to do it for this game. Not looking good for Seth. Seth does have Force of Negation in his deck, though I believe. So I don't. I don't know if he has it in his hand, though. Working towards the one mil, you need to be adopted. Ooh, ice on upkeep. That would be gross if Seth can do that. But uh, it's possible TJ played around it because he TJ is very good at playing around ice. With like you can play around ice with the way you do your fetch lands sometimes. Sometimes, sorry. Isn't like ice and response you fetch that you really like? Yeah, like if if. If you go to your turn two and you have two fetches in play, they can't ice you. Yeah. They can try, and it will end badly for them. I just know Robert was complaining about how TJ always plays around his ice on upkeep. It just makes you a better magic player when you know that you can play around certain cards that most people will play. Yeah, I mean, I... That's always what I'd say separates like a good magic player from a great magic player is like a good magic player knows how to play their deck well and stuff, but a, a great one actively is is knowing what to play around at all times. But can't really play around ice on upkeep here for TJ, except for the fact that 
he could have stacked his deck in a way that reforge isn't even on top here and he, he could have gone a more safe route so hard to tell but if reforge is on top of his deck and seth goes for ice on upkeep it's gonna be bad Ooh, or just Beseju. Beseju in this deck is just two mana blow up a land. Super gross, because there's no land to search for TJ. Uh, so yeah, TJ did not put Reforge on top of his deck. He put a Pact of Negation. So, smart by TJ. Seth shocks and esteem vents. Oh, it'd help if I actually did this on the right uh, thing. All right, so now TJ's going for reforge, miracle cost. See if it resolves. Don't see a four, so outburst is the option here. Yep, just gonna go ahead and fire off outburst. Uh, I kind of like this. It's, I guess. I guess it's like you don't want it to get packed on negation or something. If that's you know, because you know he's about to like draw seven. Oh, oh, it's in his hand right now. So because you're gonna, he's gonna discard his hand too. Because the reforge is symmetrical. So he's just firing it off now because okay so he can get it out there and then yeah and seth knows he's probably dead here but you know might as well make your rhinos in case tj messed up the pile somehow yeah you, you never know if your opponent's gonna just do something and just not hit what they need to so tj's pile is ritual there's another land. Tap land. And a pass, I think. Seth suspends a rhinos, plays a land. It's like a misty. I see the charbo turn TJ's hand. TJ untaps, upkeep, ice one of your lands. So Seth just open, I can slow him down another turn here and maybe squeak out the win next turn. TJ's gonna see if he can end the game this turn. Gonna, there's a ritual, up to three mana, ritual up to four mana. Ritual, ritual, oh, splice. Okay, so splice up to six mana. Um, and then ritual up to seven mana, cast Charbelcher, and has the pact if Seth did have something. So there you go. Game one goes to TJ. Seventeen point five thousand points in the pot. Right. Wow, 47. Seth. Seth had to play his Beseju, which Beseju is just an insane spell to have in your hand here. So that's Seth, that must have been Seth's only other land in in, in hand. Shocks in a breeding pool. Yeah, but they cast a spell they would otherwise not play just to get footfalls. That's true, but they still cast the footfalls for free, so it counts. All there's right. one. There's one. One free spell. 
if you're watching on YouTube, we're doing a prediction right now to see uh, how many free spells get cast this game. Stakes are high, but two and a half thousand points on zero to one there. You, you could comment right now if you want. Comment how many free spells you think get cast this game. And the definition of a free spell for this is just any spell that gets cast without spending any mana. So, Pact Mitigation, Crashing no. Footballs coming off Suspend, Crashing Footballs off of an no, Outburst, Violent Outburst. No. Just this game, for this game. There's a Valakut, Valakut's Awakening. TJ's under a lot of pressure already. This might be a quick game. So, answer might be one. Does Pitch for Force of Vigor count as free? Yeah. You didn't spend any mana on it. Yeah, definition of free for this is mana. Did you spend mana to cast a spell? No more free spells. I want my points back. What's scary is like, I don't quite see TJ's hand very well. He could literally just have the win. Like, he could just have it. You know what I mean? Could not, but he could. Gonna go for a recross the pass. Yeah, Ornithopter would count. This is the thrill you get from not playing a game of Magic. You have to watch people play and hope you get your stream points back. <laughs> I, I mean, the channel points make it fun. Yeah. And doing these bad predictions also makes it fun because, like, everybody has their different choices. Yeah, it's not just based on win loss. Like, yeah. I They used to not have multiple options for predictions, it used to only be one or two, but now they have multiple. All right, so TJ, if he survives this next turn, he's not going to be able to shock in any more lands. Okay, I think TJ was just like, Did, do you have something to kill me there? And then he just said like, yeah, yeah, I got it. And then he said, that's it. Run them back. Do I risk it? Do I, I think risk it? I think Seth started with a gemstone caverns in play. So this is Seth's turn one. Pass. No ice. I, I think two to three words. Uh... Strike it rich. Five thousand points. Two to three spells. Let's go. Ritual. Strike it rich. Make a treasure. There's a pact in TJ's hand. Recross. Making green. Off the treasure. So it's possible that TJ just does a Pyromancer Ascension pile, which a lot of times these Charboucher decks do in game two and three. But it looks like TJ just getting the Charboucher. I just need at least two free spells here.
Yeah, I, th I think you you don't mess with Pyromancer Ascension here because you probably are a little bit scared of the card Force of Vigor. All right, Turn Timber Symbiosis wins the Clash. Gonna get back, recross, and go to the bottom. Do the Clash cards have to go to the bottom, or no? I don't think he has anything that can make TJ draw to mess with that. You choose? Okay. It's like a free scry. Gotcha, gotcha. I wasn't sure, because they both put those cards to the bottom. Petty Theft. Bounce. So what, TJ made a treasure there? Yes. And Seth bounced it? Probably. More free spells. More free spells. More free spells. We're on zero right now. Right? I believe so. Uh, TJ's at 17, by the way. All right. Three, four, drop the top. Miracle. It's a miracle. Yeah, you might have cracked the treasure and Seth just like put it in exile anyways. Um, I'll ask real quick. More free spells. More free spells. More free spells. What what are we counting as a free spell? Yeah. So okay, it looks like we have free spell count number one. Yeah, there's a pact of negation. Um and yeah, it's TJ said he sacked the treasure just wasn't in the right spot. Ritual, ritual. Ritual, splice. Ritual. Jarboucher. Activate, get you. One again. So it's just one. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> 